So this video is going to demonstrate how to import scan data into Recap. So I'm going to go up here to New Project. I'm going to tell I want to import a point cloud. It's going to ask me to name my project, so I'll call this Facility Scan. And I'll click on here. I want to name a folder to place it into. Create a new one. Call it Facility Scan. And select that folder then. So I'll tell it to proceed. The next thing I need to do is I need to identify the data I want to bring in. I have a folder right here that has scan data already. So I'll go to this raw scan data. I'm not going to pick all the files just to kind of make this just a little bit easier, work a little bit quicker. So I'll grab a handful. I could have grabbed all of these, but let's grab these. Drag them, drop them onto the target. It's going to ask a few settings. I typically just let these all be the defaults. Tell it to import the files. So now it's going to begin loading the files, and this will take a few minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording while it loads the files. After a few minutes of allowing the software to basically load or import the scans, you'll get the ability to tell it to auto-register. You could skip and just manually register or skip registration altogether. So it's just a matter of to you how you want to handle this. You can wait for all these to load, or you can just tell it to auto-register scans. You can see here it's still importing. It'll kind of give you an elapsed time and how much time's left. How this process essentially works is it will then completely import them, and then it will start trying to build what it calls scan groups, where it has you know, so many, uh, you know, it's figure out how scan one and scan two match up. It'll figure out how then scan three matches up with, um, with the, what's already existing. It'll kind of go from there. So we'll give this a little bit of time here to, to finish loading these. And then we'll kind of take a look at how that will build from there. So now that it's completed importing the scans, you can sit here and watch it as it tries to match scans together. You can see at the top it's saying zero of six scans matched, zero scan groups created. So it's going to basically start comparing the first scan to the second scan. It's going to start comparing them, trying to line them up, match them up. Once it's got that, it's going to end up creating a scan group, and then it'll start taking each of the other scans and trying to figure out a way to match it and it'll keep building that and building that and building that until it has what it feels is a pretty decent model. When we're all said and done, it can give us a report of what that looks like and uh, you know how what's the percentage of overlap, what does it feel, you know, kind of grading itself in terms of what it thought of the the match. And so here we're gonna let it build this for a few minutes and once it's done we can then jump into the scan. So in our case it matched the scans together but it ended up finding two separate groups and part of the reason is that four of the scans were in run one room the other two scans were in a hallway so it doesn't quite see how to match them up. Basically, the only thing it really saw as being similar was what it saw through the doorway, and that just wasn't enough for its taste. So it's telling us at this point we need to auto-register, and that's okay. We can manually do that. And I chose the scans that I did knowing that it was going to do this. So basically, I just need to pick some common points in a particular scan or set two different scans together. I'm going to switch over to this one here. See, this one here is in a hallway. So once it finishes loading that one. So here you can see this one is in a hallway. 
And what I'm going to match up is I can see through the doorway in this one to see the top of the frame, or at least the border around the door on this one. And that's actually this point right here. I also, if I look this direction, there's a poster on this wall that I can find the same corner of in the other scan. If I come over here and look around, there's that same poster. I can get this one here. And they always talk about trying to find three separate planes as being a recommendation. So if I look here on the floor, I can see this corner where this stripe, black stripe, meets this yellow stripe there. I come over here. Zoom in tight enough. This is the same point right about there. I don't have to be dead spot on. I just have to be close enough. And give it a second, and it should say, I found the scan. It thinks it can merge it well enough, so I'll go ahead and hit Merge Scan. Because this is a group, you'll bring it in and match it up with the rest of the other group. And that should be enough to get one complete model. So it's loading these together. If I want to take a look at a report, I can take a look. And you can see it's got fairly high accuracy, basically 99% or above. So I can go here to index scans and it will then process all this information. And once I get far enough along, even though it may not have everything loaded, I can launch the project. So in this particular case, it's still kind of loading and working on indexing the scans. It's only about 38% complete, but I can still launch the project. And as the rest of the scans get loaded and processed, it will then bring them and merge those in and kind of update everything. But uh, just to kind of get to the point where I can actually load the model, I kind of want to at least jump to that point. You can see here it's loading. So now you can see I have something that I can kind of work with here. Kind of begin kind of examining and taking a look at what I've got. You can see I'm even up to 39% at this point.